Well, forecast on a very spring-like day. Very spring-like. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca is in the Weather Center. We've got a little bit of rain moving in overnight, Tony, but then it'll be nice again, I hope? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, I, 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 I say that kiddingly because there's so many changes tomorrow, mm. so there are some showers in the forecast, but also some warm sunshine. Okay. So you have to find the right spot and the right Where time. <laughs> all right. And that's my job to figure that all out <laughs> as we take a look at uh, what was really, as mentioned, a beautiful day today, upper 60s to low 70s. But yeah, very changeable Thursday, uh, especially uh, it determines by location as to who has the warmer air, who has the cooler sea breeze. As we take a look outside with sunshine, New Bedford now looking real good with some sunny skies. It's a little cooler along the water now with uh, temperatures here in the upper 50s to low 60s, but inland spots, you've got temperatures that are in the uh, low 70s or reached the low 70s this afternoon. And you can see the coastline did make it to the 60s before cooling back down. So unlike yesterday where there was no sea breeze, today you can see the sea breeze. So while it's very nice along the south shore, it's a little cooler, whereas inland areas are still in the upper 60s to around 70 in Smithfield. Satellite photo shows showers to our north but otherwise quiet here in southern New England. Our next weather system is just sprawled out across the middle of the country and across the Great Lakes. So storm center back through the uh, northern plains and attached to it is a warm front and a cold front. So the warm front approaching right now through the overnight and this will produce uh, some higher humidity overnight along with some milder temperatures and even some fog could be as Kim had mentioned just like an isolated shower during the overnight. We get into a bit of a break tomorrow. So here's the yes and no portion of the forecast where we do get some warm sunshine before the cold front arrives. I'm thinking around six, seven o'clock tomorrow evening and that's where we'll bring in the chance for some showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. But south of that warm front, look at the warm warmer air that is really in our forecast for the next couple of days. Now I don't see 80 degree temperatures here, but we'll make a run at the 70s away from the coastline tomorrow afternoon and even Friday and Saturday. Our temperatures still running above average to the south of that warm front. We're talking dew points and quite simply the area shaded in green. There's more moisture. There's more humidity, but rule of thumb when you take high humidity and you pass it over a cool surface like the ocean, that humidity condenses into low clouds and fog. So along the coastline later tonight, tomorrow morning, I do expect some areas of fog. So a lot of changes. We're going to go through it hour by hour. Watch the time bar and then find the location that you're interested in. It's quiet this evening and then overnight tonight. You can see this is around 1, 2 in the morning. Not a lot, but maybe just a passing shower, low clouds and fog. Very mild. It's in the 50s all night long. Early tomorrow morning, we start with clouds, fog and just an isolated shower. 7 o'clock in the morning in the mid 50s. Watch what happens by late morning and early afternoon. We burn this off and you can see clearly the warmest weather is inland tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s to lower 70s and cooler along the shoreline with some sunshine. And then around 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, and you can see it right in here, thunderstorms approaching Connecticut. I do expect these storms to weaken, but some rumbles of thunder and showers coming in between about 6 and 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. So these are the, the changes that are going on over the next roughly 24 hours. It was just a little bit of every everything on Thursday and even into Thursday night. We still have some scattered showers. All right, seven day forecast shows that changeable weather, but there'll be several hours where it's nice and sunny and warm. Friday looks good. Saturday dry during the day. Showers in the evening. Easter Sunday, not bad. Cooler, breezy and dry with sunshine temperatures in the mid 50s. Brian and Mike. Tony, thanks.